And good. I'm not going for your face, by the way. I'm only going for the guitar because that's really why we're watching this stuff, right? I mean, who, who the fuck cares for faces? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go. How pretty do the frets look? Okay, that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's course. the that's the level that we're. And where's, um, where's the right camera to, to see the frets? <laughs> right there. Let me see. Yeah, this one. No, no, oh no! It's no, but no, no, no! You oh, can't. Yes. You, come over here. Come here. Go over here to the to the favorite yeah. cam. Yeah, this cam. Yeah, and yeah. Leslie, go. Slider cam, slider two. Look at the frets. Look at these frets. Look at it. Yeah. Of course, you have to talk. You, you have to frets? talk in here. Come here. Yeah. Do, do, do again. Did, did, did you see the frets? Did you see these beautiful? This cat is right now looking frets. at those frets. Yeah. <laughs> cat frets. Cat frets. <laughs> um, and uh, what was I going to say? Uh, let's see. You can go to this camera. The one that you can't see. Remember that one? Ah, hello. Uh, it's camera number nine, and Leslie doesn't see that, so I have to remind her that, oh, I'm all sweaty. Um, it, that, it, that actually sounded really uh, phenomenal. What, uh, is that an LS30? No, that's an LS20. That's still an LS20, but it's, let's say, the, the, the normal basic model, but in a very, very nice uh, color. It's, it's violin burst. Um, this still has this... Microphone, microphone. Stack. This one still has the fat fifties neck and uh, it's violin burst and uh, the only difference is that the normal LS20 has got uh, caps on the pickups. Uh, also makes them sound a little different. Um, and uh, the set that is normally in these guitars is also by Seymour Duncan, but it's in a Jeff Beck, the SH4 and the SH1 in on the neck position. In yours? In, no, in, no, in, 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 in all in, in LS20. Okay. Yeah. That one looks phenomenal. That almost this one is great. that almost yeah. looks better than the LS30 I have. Do they make you, you pretty? Do they make you prettier ones? You they make it. Come on, Oliver Hartmann. They make you prettier ones to show off. Come on, you bastard. They, no, no. They, no, no. no I, uh, they love you just honest, a little bit too much. Admit it. They love you. Do do they? Yeah. No. no. Uh, no Look I, at this guitar. Yeah, it's it's really beautiful. But to be honest, I bought it. I bought this guitar. Well, so aren't you stupid? Uh, Come on, why? Why, in the world? why would you? Why? 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 Because I they have love so you. much of money. I got so much money. Oh, I because I have so much money. Oh. I buy every month. I buy guitars. <laughs> yes. No. Uh, because this was really not only beautiful. It was really, really good. Uh, and uh, uh, one more, a uh, very important thing. This is not the lightest Les Paul because everybody is taking care of the weight and stuff. But it's not heavy. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's, it's four point one kilos. And many people think that that guitars or single cut guitars as Paul's that have more than four kilos are worse than, than others that are lighter. That's oh. totally bullshit. Just play the damn thing. That's what you have That's to do. Bullshit. Don't look at this spec or this spec. When I see people buying strats because of neck shape or fingerboard radius, play the damn thing. I don't look at any specs Absolutely. for a guitar. I mean, I have a couple of guitars. I mean. Just, just as many as you actually need, really. I have a realistic amount of guitars. And I don't look at specs ever. I don't even know, literally, like, I know a little bit about scale length. But you said compound radius. I know what that means, but that would never convince me to buy or not buy a guitar. It's all nice to hear about the specs, but please go take it in your hand and play it. That's right. And if you feel great on it, it's a guitar for you. Also. Half a baseball bat as a neck, totally beautiful. It'll make you play certain things. You won't shred on it the way that you shred on an Ibanez, which is why I have Ibanezins, and I have my McMulls, and I have, I have different guitars. Different guitars for different purposes. Absolutely. So yeah. if you want to, you know, rock out with your cock out, yes, I said that, uh, then a classic kind of style guitar by a company that makes high quality, I don't know. Would you, would you know what kind of brand that would be? I don't know. What guitar? What brand does classic kind of guitars, but in really high quality, made in Japan? I don't know. Aria did in the early days. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Ibanez. And of course yeah, but Ibanez doesn't make classic kind of guitars. Classic They're like guitars. modern guitars. Okay. Uh, like really classic kind of guitars. I think there's like one more company uh, 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 that builds classical guitars, yeah, Japanese, but I don't know the Yeah, brand. we can't. We can, we can, maybe you guys know. Please comment. Um, um, uh, someone, uh, by the way, uh, uh, said um, that you have this on the guitar. See, yes, this, by the yes, way... Yes, I have it on the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> this, 
This is something that is really cool, by the way, that in a live concert, shit that happens here, it's like no one would go, hey, Ali, du hast doch dein Stimmgerät dran. No one would say that. Someone asks uh, in the live stream, so which guitars have maple caps and which don't? That's also something that in a, in a live concert, no one goes between your songs. And goes, By the way, Oli, is that maple or is that mahogany? So I, yeah, I love these I, I formats. Mean, of course, I'm a musician too. And when, when I watch musicians play that I like, uh, that have a good sound or whatever, of course, I, I try to analyze what, what they play, what, what make they sound like they sound. Um, But yeah, uh, you have to go away from all these cliches and, and uh, uh, a good guitar is a good guitar. And uh, you, you always have to check if it works for you. Not a guitar that maybe works for somebody else doesn't work for you. Yeah, so yep. always go into a shop, check it out. Don't buy guitars op just over the internet or just by weight or whatever kind of cliche. Wait, wait, wait no, 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 don't, don't, no. <laughs> or no, just, you know. Excuse me, <laughs> excuse trust, me. Uh, just trust your favorite YouTuber. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I can show you guitar, I can talk about it. You still have to try it. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not going to bullshit you. By the way, they're all really, really funny now. They're saying Suzuki, Tokai, Greco. Uh, Tokai did great guitar. Fer Fernandez. This is, you know, we're not talking about that hashtag FGN rules. Um, so, um, one, oh, more someone was one asking. One thing that go, I have go, to go. say about weight and stuff like that. Uh, one important thing of uh, FGN guitars, especially of these single cut guitars, um, also the body is completely massive because what lots of uh, brands do to to lose weight for a guitar is to drill holes in the body underneath the top. So, and these guitars are massive, and that's also what these old guitars from the 50s and 60s. I, I, I and really want to go massive uh, and, and drill holes. I really want to go and, and be be a dirty pig, but I'm not gonna. You you I'm just gonna massive, cats. massive drill holes. Uh, it's it's all, it's really you're giving me a lot of stuff to work with here. But I'm not gonna you go should. there. I'm not you gonna should. go. No, no, no. I'm not gonna go there. Um, so FGN doesn't do weight relief. That's right. Why doesn't Why don't you just say that? Because I was missing the word. <laughs> but thank you for Thank you for adding this word to. <laughs> Um, what is it gonna... my, my English is sometimes. Oh, my English is, is not the good. Not so good uh, so not, not so much it's a me, Mario. Uh, it's missing here and there. <laughs> um, it's good somebody to help. <laughs> People asked um, what amp you're playing. Um, you usually play the Friedman BE100. That's right, yeah. And um, uh, you're now going with the BE channel on my small box because that was wired up, even though we yeah. wired up your Friedman yeah. because it, then it, we could have just used it, but who cares? It's, I think when- I mean, the white one is, is looking way better than the black one, but yeah. Oh, wait, didn't you want to go but already? That's why just, you maybe don't you have to be it. somewhere? No. No. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, it actually looks pretty damn nice. I could have gotten it in any color, but I wanted it faster, so I picked black. Um, so you're playing the BE100 through the aux, I want to you know, tell people, yeah. um, with my standard 412 Creamback loaded speaker. And uh, Mario is playing the Soldano Hot Rod 50, yeah. which has been modded years ago by who knows who, mm -hmm. um, through the Torpedo Studio with a Rev 212 cap. No, just, that's wrong. It's we, a 412 cap. No, no we, yeah. uh, the, the Friedman. You picked the Friedman. You said pick the Fried no, 30. He, he picked the Friedman, and, and I had the, the one with the green bags. You said, go, you said go for the 412 Fried 30. That's what I used. Okay, that's perfect. That's what we're doing. Okay. And, um, Whatever, it sounds good. And uh, Armin's playing through the dark glass, which is just always good. That's just... If I'm a bass, if I, I was gonna just a bass player anyway. So no, 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 no. I was gonna say if I if I was a bass player, but that's totally wrong. Uh, I am a bass player. I play more bass when I play in bands than I play guitar because okay. bass players are needed, and um, I happen to have basses. Um, by the way, um, uh, where where am I? Uh, oh, there. Uh, you're not watching Holger, but hi Holger from uh, Sandberg. Uh, I know what's coming, and thank you, because I don't actually have a jazz bassy thing, and I don't have a four string, so you should get one. Well, Holger is taking care of that. I'm getting a beautiful Sandberg TT uh, four-string jazz bass. Oh. It's, it's, very nice, very it's, nice. it's apparently on the way. Uh, we should really stop that. We, we, we're going to alienate a whole bunch of ethnic groups, whatever. Okay. Or le ethnic groups, as they say in French. Um, I'm going to let you guys play again. How many song more songs do you have? That's it. 
That's it? Yeah, we have four, four records and there's one song on it, so that's it. Yeah. No, we still have still have a few songs. Well then, like, then go go play. I'll be over le there. Ah, we are we. Um, I'm going to ask you right away because we had, you know, a little bit of setup trouble because it got a little bit more complicated. Um, if you ever it was a very complicated band. Oh yeah, four four piece rock band, totally. Yeah. Um, but uh, if you ever have time in your schedule again, you're going to come back. Maybe. Oh, that's that's great. Of okay. We do. Come on, say, say maybe again. Come on, come on. No, I couldn't take you. No. Maybe. Da, 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 da. No. I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be over there listening to you. Of course. Yeah. So, uh, what do we play now? What did Out in the cold. Ah, okay. So the next song we we're gonna play is uh, the title track from our first record, Out in the Cold. So it's called Out in the Cold, and we played a little longer as the studio version. So you have uh, kind of a cool extended live version. <laughs> is broken cause you have been gone and two has been spoken and the damage is done can't stop thinking about this moment I've had you to stay now I'm standing here in Nothing to say Cause you just went away Why did you leave me here I'm in the cold And why do I feel like My soul has been so It hurts me I can't get I never forget It's so hard to get over you Day by day The only thing that will last is pain I pass you on pain Cause you just went away Why did you to extend this middle section a little bit because 
my receiver from my Inia system is empty. Does anybody of you have uh, some new some new cells? Life. This is life. As you can see, this is what happens when you play live shows. But this is another chance uh, for you people out there to introduce the band to you on guitar and on vocals. We have Mr. Mario Reck. Now, now I've started to introduce the people. I go on introducing the people. On the bass guitar, we have Mr. Armin Dondera. Yes, and on the drums, you see the only rock star in the band. Please give a big hand for Mr. Markus Kuhlmann. Okay. Now that everything is working again, we can go on. So I did you leave me? Cold. <laughs> With a live cell change. <laughs> Our FGN friends went home, by the way, because, okay. because they're party poopers. Okay. In the right. like, oh, it's rock and roll, it's too loud. Mm. We have okay. families. You know what? Fuck them. No. I think, I think now we can just play any guitar we want. Let's just. Get yeah. <laughs> no. um, uh, let's make sure that everyone else's uh, receivers have battery, because when we checked, they were completely sure? full. 
But so, I'm listening pretty loud, so... Uh, that could be... That. Can you check your battery? What does it say? Uh, what does it say? Uh, da, uh, it doesn't even say. It should say up here. Uh, it shows nothing. That is weird. Okay, nothing is not good. Yeah, let's let's make sure. Yeah, let's let's just exchange the batteries. Yeah. Because otherwise we're gonna have to do that stunt a couple more times within the songs, and we don't want to do that. Uh. So. Hey, tell tell the people a story, Ollie. Once there was a kid. <laughs> Was which a which met another kid. Many thousands of and when there were two, they met one more kid. Then there were three. And uh, wow, when they met the other kid, they were this. four. And then they oh, wait, no, uh, I, I decided to, um, yeah, to make a Maybe music that. group. <laughs> a music group. <laughs> yes. So that's the story. That yeah. So far, so good. Tell, tell them how... And the best is yet to come. Tell them yeah. how you actually came to even look at FGN. How did that relationship start? Uh, it, it, it started on, on a music fair in Frankfurt, the famous Musik Messe. <laughs> when that still was a thing, right? When that still was a thing, yeah. <laughs> Those in, times in, in, are in over. The, in the heydays, in the heydays. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and uh, I was working there uh, for, for T-Rex. I was doing workshops and demos for T-Rex. That explains the pedal board. Yeah, yes, yes, they do great stuff. And uh, yeah, they had a, had a booth together with FGN guitars. And uh, yeah, so, so I picked up a few guitars and played them and said, like, wow, that's good, good stuff. And uh, they always have, how to say, an open ear to new ideas. Uh, um, and, and always open to, to, to think about what a musician really wants to have what he likes what he needs and uh yeah that's what i really like besides of course their quality um that's why i'm still working with them a company that listens to musicians that's uh that's an important thing some i don't want to say any names but i used to work with the company and i kind of was the voice of the musician because in the company they didn't have too many musicians yeah. and then i was told well you always see it from the musician's point of view um you don't understand business uh, but I said, yeah, yeah, but you don't, not, no one here sees it from the musician's point of view. You kind of need the person that sees it from the musician's point of view. And they're like, yeah, I, I, you know, and it, it's just, just, that always came up. And I said, okay, well, let's just, that's just, not, well, that, just agree to disagree. That's the most important thing for a company that wants to be, let's say, successful in the end, uh, uh, to, to have, of course, this business side, which is very important for a company, of course, uh, but also has this musical side and, and really tries to bring both things together and make them work. Yeah. Talking about business, by the way, you can get Mr. Google Shorts at 20% off by using my coupon code. And by the way, I'm not getting paid for that shit. Ah, it's a new, it's a new cat. I actually, new cat. I, I do sell shirts with my logo on them, which okay. really don't sell well because I'm not pushing them. I okay. push these stupid shirts, which I'm not getting paid for. How stupid am I? I don't know. You know why I tell people to buy these? The only thing I get out of it is Mr. Gugu sends me more shirts. Okay. And I just want really ridiculous shirts. Now that TV wants to turn off. Yeah. Now your band left again eating all my snacks. Yeah, they want to go home too. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. They're, they're, they're making coffee and talking and, and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Mario is reading. He's, he's reading about yeah, why, why there is no God. Oh, Ki okay. Killer, killer book. I, I realized. I, uh, so as you can see, as you can see, the guitar player is not only a good guitar player, it's also the in intellectual part of the band. Yeah. I never so. read it in German. I only read it in English, but I assume that you know they translated it well. It's uh, the God Delusion by Richard Dawkins, and now please start discussing Richard Dawkins because you know he definitely splits the waters. Not like Moses, but you know like a non kind of Moses. Okay. Let's not go into religion because I don't want to piss people off. <laughs> Let's not but do that. He's, he's more of that intellectual part. All the other guys are more into this, let's say, Playboy thing. You know, ah, yeah. Sex, drugs, yeah, rock yeah, and yeah. roll. All of it. Getting yeah. bras off the yeah, on the stage all, and all together, if possible. Boobies yeah. and all that. Yeah. 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 And then while he he's in, he's backstage, just like writing poems or something. Sometimes, sometimes, and he's writing good poems. But what about boobies? They're there too. Ask him. Ask him. You, you didn't ask him he, one he, thing. He, he, he could, could write. He could write yeah. poems about boobies. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask him. That's maybe a good good thing. He, yeah. he he's he's taking a while now because he's yeah. going to smoke. He's going to smoke. Okay. So while yeah. he's smoking, uh, we have to talk. Oh. I think. I we talked about the guitars. We talked about your pedal board. Yes. Um, you play Friedman amps usually. Yes, but not only. Not okay. Only. Yeah. It's the same thing. I uh, uh, different project, different band, different kind of sound. I also need a different amp. Yeah. So. The Friedman is perfect for me to have this kind of, let's say, British mid high gain sound mm -hmm. and to push it with some pedals the way I like. And uh, uh, for example, for, for the Pink Floyd tribute that I'm in, it's called Echoes. Mm -hmm. um, this kind of sound doesn't really work. So I have no, uh, not really. uh, an Electrodyne. Uh, it's a Mizuboogie that was built or released <clears> like <throat> seven or eight years yeah, ago. Yeah, I remember or, or it. Or maybe yeah. 10 years. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was a vintage really popular, kind of an idea, right? Yeah, it wasn't really popular, but it's a, it's, it's a killer amplifier. We have to turn yeah. this way again yeah. because Leslie can't switch Yeah, it's a, it's a killer amplifier that I still use. Uh, it's, it's sounding like a, let's say a, a, a mild Marshall, mm -hmm. but with a, with a killer clean sound. Yeah, and, and some now, now, in there. Now, do you cool. play those types of guitars for the Pink Floyd band? No. I, I mean, it, isn't that traditionally a Strat? Of course, mm -hmm. there there I play Stratocasters, but there are a few songs where I also play Les Paul. Uh, for example, Have a Cigar, everybody knows the song. Yeah, I, I don't actually. Yes, I'm, 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 I'm not a Pink Floyd guy. No, no. Everyone goes like... You're more that... Yeah? Oh, no, 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 no. No? No, no. He, guys, he doesn't know. He, you want to ask me what my favorite You're band is? You want to do this? Favorite band? No. Hanson. Measure band. Hanson is my favorite band. Hanson. Hanson. Ah, okay. You know, Mbop. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's my thing. I mean, it's not like, come on, it's not like I, you know. Kind of. Kind but but it's kind of like I I love Hanson. Good good band. Okay. Killer yeah, songwriters. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I mean I didn't I didn't grow up with Pink Floyd or Zeppelin. Or Hendrix and everyone always, of course, talks about them. But for me, they weren't influential. I was like the '80s rock guy. We talk, Mr. Big. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Big is my yeah, they, uh, they, my they, Pink Floyd. Okay. They have been a big, big influence for me too. So it was really a big honor uh, to, to to be part of Avantasia since since decades. But that that uh, uh, Eric Martin joined Avantasia mm -hmm. Live and then said, "Man, this is really a cool song. Let's 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 do this one." That's great singer. Oh, great in band. insane yeah. singer. The yeah. only band I've seen three times live. Yeah. Because it was the only band that can come on stage in their street clothes. Not even, uh, you know, n they didn't try to be, look look at my stage clothing. They were just like coming on, st on stage, jeans. There wasn't the big light show. There wasn't the big pyrotechnics. They just came on stage and they blew you away yeah, because with just four because guys. Because just great musicians with great songs. Yeah. And, um... Uh, Billy Sheen still owes me an orange juice. Billy, you're not watching this, but you owe me, just to let you know. Okay. I, I, I gave him a preamp. I, I will send Eric uh, an SMS. Uh, Billy, uh, Billy loves the PSG1 preamps. That was always his yeah. sound, and he's actually collecting them now. And I had one in the attic. So and I interviewed him, we found out, so I just sent it to him. And um, you owe me, Sheen. Just letting you know, okay? You owe me. Not much, but you owe me. Next nap, orange juice. Oh, coffee. I'm going to take a venti. I'm going to go for a venti. Caramel macchiato. That's the biggest one you get at Starbucks. Okay. That's, that's like six bucks. Like one and a half liters coffee? No, that's like yeah. this. Okay. Okay. But that's like $6. So, so it's lasting for the 10-part for the family? Or, yeah. No, no, it's actually no. just lasting me for half an hour. That's about it. You can pass the Dutchie by the left-hand side then. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't know where you're going with it. Anyway, what, what we're talking about bands. Uh, yeah. uh, Mr. Big, that was kind of my thing. Um, uh, bon Jovi, that's like, you know, my, my home. Which is why it's so freaking cool to be friends with Phil X. Uh, because he's playing in that, uh, you don't know. Great guitar uh, player. Phil? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't know. He's yeah. nice, yeah. He's, Good sound. He knows how to hold it. Okay? Yeah. I mean, he knows that. Yeah, yeah I mean, he's, uh, he's, he's, a, he's a bastard. He just goes amp, guitar, one pickup, and he can still rock it. That's how it should be. That's yeah. how it should be. 
The more you have in between, the less comes out. Anyway. Careful, careful, yeah. careful. Those people are pedal nerds. Pedal nerds. These are serious pedal no, nerds if, with if huge you, pedal boards. You, careful what you say if because... If you cable them right, and if you... Yeah, it, it works perfectly, but... Yeah, the less or the smaller the whole chain is, guitar, amplifier, that's maybe the best thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just made a lot of... No, nah, that's... I'm, a very I'm sorry. sorry, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, it, was, it was great to have you. I'm sorry the night's over. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, I mean it, it, also, it always depends on what you have to use. When you, when you play live, you have to, to, uh, to play with different sounds. Of course, you need pedals, effects, and whatever, you know. But in the end, uh, w when you go to a studio and, and when, you, when you want to have that that's really one cool sound, just take a guitar, the amplifier, and that's it. It all depends, of course, what style you make. What style of you course, make. But if, if we're, you we're talking about rock sounds. Yeah, if you're talking about pop rock, that's something different. In pop pop music, yeah. you can use a lot more effects. You can yeah, use, uh, uh, if you're talking about country, you probably wouldn't use a tremolo. I did. I did for a few songs on the record. Yeah. But it wouldn't be the first rock effect. Whereas mm, yeah, on, on a, on a country-ish album, I, for example, love Leslie Sounds. I yeah, love yeah. Leslie. Leslie, by the way, had no idea that that's actually a word for a speaker cabinet. She just found out today. <laughs> that was so strange. Um, but um, it's a, I love that, but it's obviously tough to do in a, in a rock context. You can do it once here or there, but if I do, there, yeah. if I do pop rock stuff, yeah. I can totally play a nice pad with it, huge reverb. You have more options a, a, as soon as you don't have that wall of sound guitar, yeah. and you have to fill and kind of do keyboardy sounds, you can get away with more. Yeah, that, that, that's of course the, 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 the most important thing. How much space do you have in a song for a guitar? Yeah. Do you have two guitars? That playing left right do you have one guitar that is really cutting through the sound it all depends on and we, we actually about we pedals um i i always uh, use pedals or sound spacey sounds to to feel inspired for something Mario, don't don't yeah. leave don't leave i was just going to talk to you come here come here come here come here come can, can i go and yes you, you can go because okay. talking about pedals mario seems to be total old school Absolutely. can you open his mic Absolutely. Because what we're looking at is an Ibanez Tube Screamer. I cannot tell you what kind of, there's 808s and 909s and all these. No, the TS9. I, I got the, the original one, the TS808 with the JCRM45 blah, blah, blah chip <laughs> inside. I wouldn't even know. Uh, which is very expensive. These days they have a new one out, a reissue or something. But oh, there, there's a, there's a billion of them. The same and, uh, so I have the original at home, but it's too expensive for bringing it out. <laughs> you have so like an original from back in the day? Yeah, yeah. Okay, how much is that worth? I bought it about over eBay, and I paid like 300 euros. And, and Oli sold uh, his, uh, he told me, for about five or 600, so it's... Uh, you guys, why would you spend 300 bucks on a tube screamer? Because it's... You can really hear the difference. Pedal. Yeah, but but of course but can't you just buy like any one off the shelf? It's warmer, it's smoother. It's uh, Ollie brought me one of that T-Rex uh, mm -hmm. stuff that, that I don't know what it's called. It's like a double. It's got like two knobs for two different. The the Muller maybe like the green one. Uh, Isn't it the Muller? What is it? Rat what? Uh, mud honey. Mud honey. Mud okay. Honey, yeah. Like um, uh, where is it? Uh, wait, wait. Uh, continue talking. I'm trying to look for my. Ah, here. That's uh, one of the go-tos. I don't know where my Ibanez is. I have an Ibanez Mini Tube Screamer, which I compare to a lot of other pedals. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's one from um, Mesa Boogie called the Grid Slammer, which is pretty good. In the end, they all do a similar thing. Um, the the go-to Tube Screamer kind of pedal is, is this one for me. Okay. Uh, is that death metal or is it doom or is it? It's, it's, it's a Tube Screamer. Uh, it's, a, okay. it's a Tube Screamer. Gaul Screamer, that's where it says. Ghoul Screamer, yeah. Ghoul. Uh, the I whole, but it's, it, it's, it's a very old horse. <laughs> 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 oh my God! No, the idea is uh, it's a tube screamer, like any old tube screamer. But you have choices. So uh, much knobs, you know. Yeah, you, there. all you can do is what the tube screamer usually does is it uh, gives you a leaner bass. It takes out the bass frequencies. Mm -hmm. It gets thinner in the bass, and all you can do is just click in bass, and then it doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. So it's a tube screamer with options of: Do you want a little bit more mids? then you can click that in. And you can say how much it compresses. 
instead of it compresses as much as it does. Very, very necessary for me. So you can say it compresses not at all or one, two, three, and then you pretty much have three different stages of compression. So it does exactly what a tube screamer is supposed to do, mm -hmm. but you have the option of not having the bass drop out, and then you just go click bass and the bass is back in. Or you want it to be a, bit, a little bit brighter, and then. but the three knobs do what the Tube Screamer does. Well, what's the, the, the company called? A KHDK. K -H -K. It's a company that Kirk Hammett, and don't let that turn oh, you okay. off. No, no, why, why should it turn me off? Because it's Kirk Hammett, and what does he know about tone? I didn't say that, but I did. Um, you said that. <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, Kirk Hammett and uh, Dave Karen, mm -hmm. who's a really nice guy, and I met him a couple times, uh, they did a company, but then Antonin Silva in Prague, I think it's Prague, uh, designs the pedals. Okay. So he's the, the, the brain behind it, behind the actual tech, mm -hmm. and Dave Karen is kind of the brain behind yeah, the whole company. It's, it's got the ACDC slash inside, that high voltage thing. And uh, 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 Kirk Hammett is kind of the name so people actually pay attention. So Kirk and Dave do the company, the guy behind it is in, in the Czech Republic somewhere. Uh, mm -hmm. and. They're great pedals, all of them. I don't like fuzzes. Their fuzz is one I will always keep. Horrible. Their, their fuzz is yeah. really beautiful because it can be just a little bit overdrivey with a hint of fuzz. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Those fuzzes that just kill your sound, who needs that? Um, but for, for me, this is my go-to tube screamer. It, then again, I probably don't have the ear like you have for, for the differences. But when I look at your board, and you guys can see that it's a tube screamer. Uh, it's a fuel tank to power it from T-Rex, and it's a Boss Ooh, Chorus Boss CE2. Chorus, yeah, the good old one. The That's good the good old one. one. Yeah. I love that one. They just reissued that yeah. as a Waza Craft pedal for like 180 bucks or something. Yeah, um, but that is the chorus. Very old, very good. Um, actually, the... Um, Usually I have another Waza Cry baby. The, I, I have to show you that. Um, bought, a, bought a delay. If you... Uh, uh, where's the... Wait, um, I'll, I'll be right there. God, where is it? Um, no, no. I have a lot. Uh, I'm looking for the chorus, and I don't know where it is. Nope, there's one plus. Oh, I have very interesting reverbs. I was just going to say that the Harley Benton chorus is actually a clone of that CE2, and I don't know where it is. And I had that Boss <sighs> CE2 at home, uh, which compresses too much to me. Uh, Mike, Mike, Mike. And um, the Harley Benton one is like more, how do you say, analog? Yeah, it's a digital of. delay, but it sounds analogy. For yeah. the money, it's totally fine. Absolutely. The chorus, it's a little bit bigger, yeah. but that classic chorus from Harley Benton is actually a CE2 clone, mm -hmm. which sounds great okay. for twenty nine ninety five. So for 29 bucks, you can get a C If you like the sound of the CE2 and you don't want to drop the money on Boss, which is a good pedal, yeah. and they just reissued it, but you can get that Harley Benton one, and it's a CE2 clone, try. and it's one of my favorite choruses because it does a no-frills, beautiful, subtle chorus, because that's what it does. It's subtle. Yeah. Um, but reverbs, it depends on... Damn it, he still has it, the bastard. The last band that was here, I put it on his board, yeah. and Hendrik... That's a pedal, because I, I got one in my, in my car, an amp, uh, a built-in mm -hmm. reverb. Mm -hmm. I think it's too, too, it's too mighty. It's Sometimes, too I, I, I always uh, wonder, why don't they just put a subtle uh, spring in there? No, sometimes they do these big halls yeah. in amps. Why? Um, Cathedral, Notre Dame. The, yeah, you, you don't want you want a little really bit of springy ambience. Don't have no choice. It's like, either it's like too mighty or it's too less. Uh, too the best pedal reverb when it comes to spring for me is the Silver Spring reverb from Matt Professor. Okay. Three knobs, not a single setting. Even when all three are fully turned up, that is bad. You can't go wrong with it. Yeah. It's the reverb that I put on a pedal board. As a spring. Do you have it at Tolman? Oh, Tolman has it, yeah. Has it. It's Matt Professor. Matt Professor. I think I can. Silver Spring Reverb. <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> if you're looking for something that has more modes and more, you know, more frills, there's of course. Um, Matt Professor, okay. I'll write it down later. Yeah, there's uh, a. The, me. what's it called? The, um, uh, this one. <laughs> this one's also really, really good. The Neunaber Immerse. Um, it has more modes. And it can go very oh, ambient. Okay. And one of the modes is actually has also yeah, a delay in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, one of the best reverbs right now is, of course, the uh, Ventress from S Source Audio. Mm -hmm. 
which is very, very good. Mm -hmm. But that's, I think, almost 500 bucks. But as a one stop, one reverb, one click, three knobs, no frills, Silver Spring Reverb is the one to go. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay. One player has also one. Let me see. One player, one player, where's. What's it called? God damn it. Where, and where is it? No, no, uh, the one player reverb, and it's, it's called. Ah, oh, here we go. No, this is probably 229 or something. Mm -hmm. uh, one player reflection. And this is a reverb too. It's a reverb, spring and plate. And 195 euros. And I, I, probably a little bit more. Expensive, these guys. Yeah, but it's also it's made in the US. It's higher quality parts. It's all stuff we can argue in the end. I thought they were UK. No, no one place. Uh, no, no, uh, made in California. Okay. And Brian sits somewhere in the middle of the country with his goats. Okay. He has goats. He literally does. So I gotta look for that map professor thing. I think. Yeah, that would be really if I if I was looking for to replace my built-in amp one because it's too big. I would go for that. It's my go-to put on a pedal board reverb. Okay, this this is very nice. Too. No, no, uh, Matt Professor. Uh, it's, uh, okay, I think it's the pad the pedal is called Matt Professor. No, no, no. no, no the the pedal. Okay. I'll write it down for you. Okay. There's also a very good video by this YouTuber that reviews pedals. I guess guys want to play. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of your hair and uh, drink some coke around the corner, and you guys. Uh, well, you, you, we also have to f do the first two songs again, so how about you play whatever you've got left and then we say goodbye to everyone? Because I literally am out of stuff to talk about and also I'm sick and I want to go to bed. I want to kick you the fuck out of here. I mean, I love goodbye. you guys really so much. I love you so much. You, you are so beautiful to have. Goodbye. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> As you see, it's all about fun. <laughs> music, <laughs> music is all about. Fun. <laughs> um, yeah, the the last song that you didn't hear today uh, is a song that is uh, originally um, written and played by John Miles. I always call it the opera in five minutes. Uh, the song is called Music, and. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I play this song in, in different bands. We never recorded it with the band Hartmann, but we play it uh, at maybe every second live show as an encore. So that's what we're going to do now without orchestra, just as a rock version, the song Music by John Miles. And this song is also, it has been recorded by us. It has been recorded. What did I say? It has been recorded for uh, the Unplugged Acoustic uh, CD and DVD, Handmade. Um, so look at the internet, uh, check out on YouTube. You will find it there on our channel of Hartmann as an acoustic version. And now we do it as a four-piece band rock version, music. Let me find the right sound. It's all about the sound. <laughs> Sounds good. Music was my first love, and it will be my last. Music of the future. And music of the past To live without my music Would be impossible to do Cause in this world of trouble My music puts me free
my first love And it will be my last Music of the future And music of the past And music of the past And music of the And the band. So. Thank you very much. So now we're done with, uh, with all the songs. And uh, since the first two songs were not sounding that good, as we were told, um, uh, we will repeat them. So the first song yes. we're going to play uh, now. Yes, thank you for that. Uh, I'm just coming in to say, um, where am I? Uh, hi, hi, Dylan. Uh, 
Thank you, Hosa. I didn't. I don't know if Dylan was watching earlier, but now he's watching. And I want to say thanks okay. again to Hosa for sending all the cables because otherwise they come with baseball bats and they want them back. And I don't want that. I want to keep the cables. So, so, so Bob Dylan is coming with a baseball. Bob Dylan is coming uh, okay. with a baseball bat yeah. because he makes cables in his basement. Because who's Dang. buying that crap? So you know, I mean, his music. So yeah, he, yeah. He, he never made any money with music. Bob no. Dylan, who's that? No. So he's soldering cables, sending them to poor YouTubers. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't think he's making money that way, by the way, okay, because yeah, yeah. I'm not paying him. As a retired man job? Like I'd probably. Okay, okay. Um, so thanks, Dylan, Bobby. I call him Bobby. Uh, for, <laughs> for sending the cables. <laughs> they really uh, saved their ass today and in the uh, coming sessions. Uh, uh, yay, Hosa. I should do that in a Hosa shirt, but uh, this is much cooler. Ah, now I see it. It's, it's a new shirt. No? He actually suggested a Hosa shirt with like a. What is it? This is a Unicat. Come on, this is a Unicat. It's the last Unicat. Da, da, da. Isn't that an amazing song? It's one of the most amazing songs yeah, it is. ever. It is. It probably like the only song people know from America was the band. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Did, did they do any other songs yeah. worth anything? Yeah. The last Unicat is by America. <laughs> Play your. Play your music. That was a f phenomenal, by the way, what you just did. That was amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. You, not so much. But the rest of the band, amazing. Uh, yes, okay. Of course. Uh, we're back here and playing the last two songs. Uh, the first song we're going to play now is also the first song from our actual album, Hands on the Wheel. So... Keep in mind, if you want to buy the record or the records, buy them all. You can get them on our homepage on oliverhartman.com. Okay, the first song we're going to play is called I Don't Want Back Down. Is 
I don't want back down. Okay, this last song we're gonna play for tonight before we finish here with that live stream um, is again the song that uh, we changed to do it while producing it. And uh, for God's sake, uh, Mr. Eric Martin of Mr. Big said yes i will do that and uh, it's called simple man listen to it there's also a video on youtube the same as uh, for i don't want back down you can watch it there and it's called simple man and of course mr mario rec a guitar player and amazing singer will sub mr eric martin now and do his vocals Take 
Like from the night that you wake And a hole in your shoe Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye. What do you mean goodbye? Uh, you uh, sorry, don't, you don't say goodbye. I say goodbye. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not the I one who's got the last words. Yet. Oli, Oli, are we on I'm your freaking channel or are we I'm, on my freaking channel? I'm very sorry. I'm so very, sorry. By the way, the Italians commented that they're not insulted. Yeah. So I, I why? Think, so I, I think they're just happy to be involved. Yeah. It's all about <laughs> comedy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, it's me, Mario. That's the only Italian I can. Mario. Oh, my God. Looking in that screen. That shirt is ugly. <laughs> this one? No, this one. This I'm seeing myself in the screen, and why has no one ever told me that this is an ugly shirt? It's, it's, it's really tight here. It's, it's really tight. an ugly shirt that you wear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. The last unicat. The last unicat. What, we, what is the semi tone? Nothing. No, nothing. Oh, it's, no, it's, no, it's, no. it's not even a full tone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also good pedals. For, I don't know. Um, so those people actually ad absolutely loved it. Um, you, you couldn't follow the, the chat. You probably... Yeah, by the way, th yeah. were there people asking questions about gear or, or I about think they were. We, we, we completely haircuts. ignored it. Not Everyone, haircuts, but... A lot of people were just like, oh my God, Ollie is so amazing and he can sing and he really nailed that white snake tone. Probably, they, I, I'm going to go, they probably meant the way he was singing. You were, you were hitting some of those high notes that were like, hello. I, yeah, to, to be honest, when uh, I was well, talking about uh, influences, of course, I didn't grow up in, in, in the late 60s or early 70s listening to, to Led Zeppelin or Deep Purple. That all came later. 
but uh, of course, I'm, I'm an 80s kid too, so I was influ influenced by all the shredders, uh, uh, Ingvi Malmsteen, Gary Moore, he's a great, great guitar player. Hell yeah. And uh, of course, by good singers, bands with good singers. So there was, there was Germany, there was Dio, of course, or Black Sabbath with Dio. And uh, of course, there was Whitesnake. And I was I was really impressed by that's, it, by that's the, the singer. Style I'm that sorry, but Coverdale is the singer. Absolutely. When it comes to to bluesy rock soul, he and and, and of course Paul Rogers, of free in bad company. That that Definitely. was never my my word. But All but staying with Coverdale. First thing in the morning, last thing at night. I just want to hold you, babe, and make you feel all right. That's a lame ass rhyme, but that that song in particular on that uh, Coverdale Page album. Yeah. That's just ridiculous. If yeah, I mean, it's a good album. Uh, the album with Steve Vai, of course, was well it makes everyone sad because it's, it's, it's a Steve good album. But it's, it's different. It's not White Snake. Or, but for me, I, that was I my start. That's how I started with White Snake. Okay. I've got to admit. But it's not the worst thing to start with. Um, what amazed me with the guitar work there was that, um, especially on, as, of course, it was different. It was less rock and roll, and I play power chords, and I, you know, I, I fill the band. But on um, Fool for Your Loving, mm -hmm. song number four, right, mm -hmm. yeah. Every word that he sings, Steve Vai mimics the meaning of that word with his lick in between the lines. That's ridiculous. Yes. Like all the little sounds he makes, he's actually just supporting the lyrics. Absolutely, um, yeah, yeah. He's, he's an amazing guitar player and, and maybe one of the biggest fans here in the room or on the whole wide world of Steve Vai is our guitar player Mario Reck. He's, he's a big, huge uh, Steve Vai fan. I, I mean, I, I, I had many gems and I, I'm a big Steve Vai fan, but I don't like everything he does. Some of the stuff is just so out of this world, I can't wrap my head around it. Yeah. And, um, and I had several chances to meet him. I don't want to. I don't want to wreck to see him as this guitar god. Because I met several of my you know, heroes and literally can't listen to their music anymore yeah. because they wrecked it for me. <coughs> Sebastian Bell sucks. <coughs> what? I don't know. What? Um, I, don't, I have no idea what. I don't know. <coughs> Sebastian Bell sucks. You suck. Um, I'm, I'm sick. I'm sorry. I really am. What an asshole. <coughs> Um, so yeah, never work with your heroes, or or don't even know the music. Be what are you guys talking about? Oh, nothing, nothing. They're talking about coffee and shirts. Or and, and, don't, and, and, don't even know them really and, before and, and you drum heads and, and sticks and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. Don't even know them before you work with them because I didn't know your music, and uh, I I came into this as a Oliver Hartman virgin. A, a virgin. Yeah. You deflowered me in a way. That is so <laughs> right. That's, that's so wrong. And um, no, you see, n now you can't wreck anything. I, I, you can't wreck an image of you I had before. Uh, everything is positive. Okay. You're also not an asshole like <laughs> I don't Sebastian Bach. Um, I, I didn't get. get didn't and and I, I, I'm, I'm just. I have. Yeah. It's my nose. What can I do? I mean, how to say? I, I, uh, during the last. 10 years uh, in all the projects I did, if it's Anantasia or especially Rock Meets Classic, because uh, w uh, when I was in, in that project, Rock Meets Classic, uh, it's to explain that it's, 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 a, it's a big orchestra mm -hmm. featuring a rock band and featuring the special guests who are famous singers of bands like Deep Purple, Journey, uh, Toto, uh, for, Foreigner, Survivor, mm -hmm. and on and on. And uh, of course, like you say, um, when you work with them, some of them are really great, cool people, and some of them not so much. Yeah, but that's that's normal. Yeah, but it's some of them are not big enough to be invited, even though they're assholes, because people know about them, <laughs> and you just don't. It doesn't matter how great you are as a singer. I really don't want to work with you. I mean, let's take a random example from the rock world. Totally random example. Let's take the band Skid Row. Okay, have you heard of them? When they asked, uh, I don't know what their singer's called. But um, there was apparently a falling out between the band and the singer. Oh. And they asked Snake, the guitar player of the band, would you ever work with your, vo your, I don't know, your, your vocalist again? And he said very simply, why would I want to do that to myself? And, and I really had a little tear running on my arm because this was the exact way you would explain to someone what it's like to work with this person. Because 
wh why would I ever want to do that again? No money in the world to this guitar player could make him want to go through that ordeal again. I heard that from, from other people and they're singers too. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's normal, that's life. Uh, it can happen in music, it can happen in your normal job, day job, whatever. Singers it's are very happen. easily divas. The difference is you also play guitar. And a lot of... That's lot why I'm not an asshole. If I wouldn't play guitar, I, you never know. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of the singers I worked with that also play an instrument, guitar, yeah. keyboards, whatever, they have a different relationship to, I think, the rest of the band. Michael Sadler yeah. from Saga. Yeah. Very, great, great very, position. very, very focused when you're working Absolutely. with him. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Don't ever turn the recording off on him when he's singing because you think he can do better. Don't do that. Sorry, Michael, but he's a super nice guy Absolutely. and he has a different relationship to me as a producer or songwriter because he knows some of the rest of what I do and what goes into it. And when the vocalist is only a vocalist, I don't want to you know, say that that's less of a musician, but it's a much harder relationship. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, uh, uh, when, when, when a singer also is, is a, let's say, uh, a playing musician as a guitar yeah. player, keyboard or whatever, drummer. Um, he's got a different relation to his band and the music itself as, as a complete thing, the music. And uh, of course, many singers are spotlight seekers, but on the other hand, they have to be spotlight seekers when you're in, in a certain kind of business because people want to have show. Yeah, I mean, so, someone like that singer from that... Extraordinary thing. Someone like that singer from that band, I... I don't know where the singer who the sing <coughs> um, it, he is someone who jumps in front of the camera in front of the spotlight and the band probably also got to where he is Absolutely. where they were not just because he he was a great singer is not anymore but because of his attention seeking and because of that uh, rampensau as we say in german yeah yeah, yeah. yeah? stage pig that's spotlight that, seeker yeah, okay, yeah that one um, the thing is for me the process is everything it's, I like putting, uh, producing, arranging, putting the pieces of the puzzle together. Once it's done, I really have no interest in the music anymore. Get it, get out of my way, let me do the next thing. For him, making all the music was a way to get on stage and be in the spotlight. The, the music yeah. wasn't the center, it was him being the center that was the center. Yeah, but, but yeah, but he, uh, I never met him personally, but- uh, Oh, he, don't, he's, don't. He, he was, and, and he still is a good singer, but he was, an amazing singer in his heydays he's not. with Skid he's not. Row. He's not. He's not. He's not. I don't know. I don't want to talk. Auto tune. Auto tune. I never met. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't. Don't. Um, so, before I say thanks and bye, which I will, I have to plug one more product, which is a GraphTech, but not. Oh no. It's Gra GraphTech rings. You see this? It's a GraphTech ring. It gives you a certain tone that is yeah mm -hmm. unique. 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 Um, unique. No, don't li don't yeah. listen to don't listen to don't listen to Ollie. He's this totally is, uh, bullshitting you. Where is yeah. my? You see, yeah. If you where? don't have the tone ring, let me show you. Let me show you. If you don't you, have the tone ring, you've been in here way too long. Ah. You're totally talking yeah. bullshit. If you don't have the tone ring, it it sounds like this. Yeah. If you have the tone ring. No, of course they couldn't. You have to tell. You're not going to make the it's, channel it's open. It's you see. Get one, get two of them, and get one for free. Shut it! <laughs> I love this. A lot of people are silly. I never am. So, you noticed in my videos that my thumb was all black and blue because I squished that a few months ago. And everyone said, dude, it's gonna fall off, the nail's gonna fall off, dude, the nail's gonna fall off. And I'm like, no, 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 why should it do that? Well, it's growing out now, and in the middle, it's smack in the middle, it was breaking off, the nail was breaking off. And of course, for us, that's a bad thing. I have to hold my pick and, I mean, I need my thumbnail to be on as long as possible. So it was literally breaking off in the middle and I'm like, what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? So I took a GraphTech thumb pick, one of those things you put on your thumbs, and I cut it and I filed it down and I super glued it on my thumbnail. Why not? Why not? If it's the, working. It's tusk, which means it's a fake bone kind of material. Mm. So if you're in need, of fake fingernails and you don't want to go to the nail salon, <laughs> you can take GraphTech fake uh, tusk thumb picks and 
pretty much do it yourself. Now, for weeks, I will have a graph tech pick super glued to my thumbnail. But you know what? Yeah, but it, it could be worse. It the nail be, is it still could be on pink there. Or so. yeah. The nail is still on there, and I'm going to go with it was a good idea. It is. I hope. I sometimes, I to say, I sometimes uh, glue my fingernail from, from this, this uh, how do you call that? First uh, finger, index. Index finger. Um, because I play very close to mm -hmm. the strings and sometimes really hit hard. And when you're on tour for like 20, 30, 40 gigs in a row, uh, it, it's, it's close to falling off on this side. So, so I really glue it with the uh, fingernail uh, uh, glue. glue. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But I think fingernail glue can come off. The super glue I use was standard super glue. I also so use super glue. I don't think yeah. that that's going to come off. Leslie's he's like, why did you do that? That's not going to come off. I'm like, yeah, that, I want that. So as my nail comes out, I'll probably have to file off this GraphTech pick. But you know what? Thank you, Justin, and thank you, GraphTech, for saving my thumb. That's all I'm saying. That's my uh, plug for GraphTech. Have I said, Dylan, I love you? There's maybe something Hosa. for, for GraphTech or Dunlop or, I don't know, like, like super tone glue. Uh, I actually that. tried, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go that, I'm going to out myself. I tried to take a different pick, warm it in the microwave so that I could bend it, so that I could then file it down to do, do a whole fake nail with a pick. Uh, that ended up in the, me taking the thing out of the microwave and it went and literally <laughs> caught on fire and what was left was just ashes. So microwaving a pick to make it softer didn't work. It didn't work. Um, so this, this already had the right shape. And um, yeah, without GraphTech, my nail would be in the trash. Thank you, GraphTech. So, talk, talking about pics and microwaves. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but, you have a pics and microwave story? Yeah, of course. Go, go on. Uh, if, if you take these two pics, OK. Uh, I took, in my earlier days, when it was shredding more, in, in the late 80s, uh, I was looking for like a real thick pick mm -hmm. that, that has got the, the form that works right for, mm -hmm. for shredding. Then I took two picks, glued them together with super glue, put them in the microwave with some water. Mm -hmm. yeah. and That's uh, what I didn't do. Just a few seconds, mm -hmm. not too. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh -huh. yeah. And then, then, yeah, I formed them a little bit. And then... Uh, 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 you shaved them down, probably, yeah? Yeah. So and then with the same pick. Now, now I can, of course, do this. Have you tried chicken picks? No. Oh, wait, this is this this one's oh, wait. Uh, let me get you a fresh one. Um, here we go. They are six ninety a pick, so they are rather expensive. Uh, they are very expensive, huh? uh, but they are, of course uh, I play these and I love them. Okay, can can yeah, I you try play whatever? This one. They're very thick. Takes a little bit to get used to. Hey, but the attack course, is ridiculous. Yeah, and it's, yeah, but of course you can play way faster. Yeah. Well, I, I can't. But the attack is, it, it adds that little bit of spike on the attack. It's, they're, they're great. They will, of course, last you a little bit you know, longer than a normal pick. They have to for seven bucks. They do wear down, though, of course. Um, so that's, this is the same kind of, let's say, technique that, that I used as a mm -hmm. kid to, 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 um, to shape them, just to have this kind of... Uh, tip right here, which, which makes really, really much faster playing. Yeah. I had to get used to them. So if you want to go to to Paul Gilbert stuff or whatever, you can't do it really with normal picks. You got to have something. Does like he? Does this he play or, a thicker pick? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, probably uh, like I'm, a. I'm pretty a, sure that all like most, those most those jazz shredders, picks probably uh, the uh, Dunlop jazz, picks. whatever they're called, the, the the thicker ones. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one thing that uh, for me. Other than that, I actually really like playing these, and that I, I can I, I think that the uh, the sound is different and the attack is different. Is that uh, Epo and his wife Yolanda, who make these, mm -hmm. they're just the nicest freaking people. And I like to spend my money where it goes to nice people. Can, can I try uh, the bigger one? The, you can the try whatever size. you want. Here, go go right ahead. Which one do you have there? That's different. It's, it's, this is this is also this is good. this is a little bit thinner than the one. Yeah, it's the yeah, same okay. shape, but but yeah, uh, yeah, that's thinner. Yeah, but it's it's also a matter of the size. This one, if if it's a bigger pick, yeah, uh, uh, it, you have more more movement. In the yeah, fingers. that's that's why I that's, I play that's I, why I, I, I take I, them very. Yeah. Play this. I play these. Yeah. The badass three. 
Yeah, okay, this is... But this is also adding some, some kind of edgy, you know? Be because it's a little bit more pointy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's what I don't like. So perfect for me is this one. This? Yeah. Well, then, that one's yours. Grazie, grazie. Take it as payment for the gig. <laughs> Hey, you got paid Could, something that most musicians... I couldn't be happier being most, the musician. Yeah. <laughs> most you. musicians have, thank, thank you so have much. to be happy that they get something. Don't, don't tell how the, can I thank you don't, more? Don't tell yeah. the others. No, no. Because they didn't get shit. Uh, 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 how about the, the, Wait. the power station? Uh, no, fuck it. No? no? Yeah, you leave that guitar. No. Well, then we don't have a deal. But I'll, I'll get you in touch with uh, Mission Engineering because they're cool guys. Um, so... Thank you. What what lens are there? Uh, thank you guys a million times. I wanna point out one more time, Jonas, right there. I can probably pick his nose. Um, we didn't even know each other. He showed up today at noon because we said show up at noon, show up at show up at noon. And uh, um, uh, thank you, Walter, from Abbey Road Institute. He organized that, and uh, I said, you know, hey, I'll, I'll mention Abbey Road Institute in the videos as much as I possibly can. Abbey Road Institute. Have I said Abbey Road Institute? Um, and show what Great you guys. guys, by the way. You know, I said, you know, show what you guys are capable of, uh, and give you guys some real world experience. Um, he was amazing today, absolutely. It's always like, you don't know someone, what can they really do? I'm a control freak, I want this to be good. I didn't really have to, you know, he just, he knows what he's doing. And I could do what I do, which is not yeah. too much. Oh, he did, really. really did a great job. Mm. Jonas, he did a great job. Yeah. Did, didn't I say that? No. So if you guys are in the area and you want to hire an engineer, I'm going to say studio or live. Is that correct, Jonas? Yeah. <clears throat> then, um, Jonas Ort, you find him on Facebook? Yeah. Okay. Do you have an email? Yeah. yeah. What is that? You know it. Well, I, I don't know. I just hit answer. <laughs> Do you want to give him their email? It's hire and fire at engineer.com. What? It's Jonas.ort. Jonas.ort. 98. 98. At gmx.de. Oh, 98. That means he's freaking young, the fucker. Of course he is. Look at him. Look uh, at him. But the problem is that we are old farts. Mm. It's, always a, it's always a matter of relation. You know? Jonas.ort98 at gmx.de. If you're looking for an engineer, the kid knows what he's doing. And uh, I'm going to go and venture a guess that I'll have him back because he really helped. He helped us a shit ton. So thanks for watching. If you're into this whole thing again for some reason in 4K, I'll upload that in the coming days and a version with only the songs where we don't have the first two, but then have the last two being the first two or something like that. However. Yeah, that way you have the whole thing in good. We take the good takes. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to go to bed and die because fever, voice going. Oh, no, we have to clean up. You have to clean up? Uh, no, 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 we. We? Did we, you say we? We. We. No, not we like... In yes, French, but like ah. we. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no is the same, no? No, 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 no. Le oui. Sûrement, no. Okay. Bye, guys. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, wait, bye, bye, bye. I have to actually push stop. That's where you get the. Uh... Oh, and thank you, Leslie. She hates doing this. And, and is she still even there? I don't know. She probably she left. She went the... too bad already. She probably left that camera on and yeah, she's bye bye. <laughs> That's fine. Um, I'll see you guys next time, and uh, thanks for hanging out. And thank you, Sonia, and everyone else. And uh, the rest of the band is somewhere over there drinking all my booze, which I don't really have. Flipping too. Yeah. And one last thing, uh, I, I mentioned it in the beginning. Uh, we are on tour uh, starting in the end of October, and it uh, would be great to see some of you guys out there on the road. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. And thanks to the rest of the band who's not even here. Thanks to the rest of the band! <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, they're not, yeah. And bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>